guys, so today I'm going to do a dual boot tutorial. It's going to be dual boot between Windows 7 and Mint Linux 12, codenamed Lisa. And I already have my netbook here, which has Windows 7 on it. But I travel a lot with this, and I like having my options of having a dual boot. Windows 7 is just so slow at times, and I need to have it where it boots up quickly, gets me to that login screen, be able to browse my internet, and just get to my email or whatever I need to do really quickly. And Mint Linux will give that to me. So since it is an older machine, it's I had this for a few years, it has an Atom processor and only a gig of memory. So really, Mint Linux is really going to help it speed it up, and it's just going to feel so much faster, so that's really a big reason uh, why I'm doing this as well. And I, incidentally, I dropped it at the airport because I travel all the time with it, you know, they're constantly making you take it out and show it to them at the airport. And I went to Turkey recently, and they made me take it out, and it slipped out of my backpack on the way out. Which was really sad, but it still worked, which is still really good. And I actually really love this laptop. It's really portable, super light, and I'm going to be doing the install on here today. So just keep watching. And I have this USB drive. So I'm going to be booting off this USB drive. And it's specially configured to do the Mint install. And I did a tutorial on this uh, last week or a week before. And I'll put a link here on showing you how to configure this. It's really easy. And it also has the live CD. So if you want to do try out Mint Linux without any commitment, just to try out the desktop user interface and maybe some of the apps that come with the live CD, then you can go ahead and boot off this and try out that live install without any commitment. It won't make any changes to your hard drive at all. It's completely running off this USB dongle. So that tutorial also shows. So it does both the install and live CD. So go ahead and try that if you just want to do the live CD or the install. So it's really great to have one of these handy to boot any computer into the Mint environment on the fly. So if you go traveling, you know, you see that computer somewhere. <laughs> and also, you can plug in your network cable into your uh, computer as so. Okay, not as so. But if you plug this into your laptop, then you have the option during the installation to do the software upgrade during the install. So you can either plug in a network cable like this that's connected to your wireless router, or you can have it configured where it's disconnected to your wireless during the installation. Or if you want, you could always do the software upgrades later when you have more time and do it while the OS has already been installed. So I'm going to put a tutorial on how to do that um, hopefully soon. So just keep watching and I'll show you how to do this OS install right now. The first thing we need to do is plug in our USB cable into our computer and turn it on. You'll be prompted to select the boot option. Menu. A function key usually brings this up. Let's go ahead and select USB and hit enter. It will boot into the Mint Linux welcome screen. We're going to go ahead and click on Start Linux Mint. And it's going to bring us to this desktop. This is your live CD. So go ahead and use this interface if you choose. But we're going to go ahead and launch our installation right here by clicking on Install Linux Mint. Now this interface also has the options of using the software and the browser. But we're going to go ahead and, through and run through the installation. First we're going to select our language. Now it displays the items that are required to do the installation. You should have your power plugged in and at least 5.6 gigs available of disk space. And you can have your networking plugged in. The second option if you don't plug in a network cable is to select your wireless. So we're going to go ahead and select the wireless and enter in your password. Now it's going to ask you to select your drive partition. You want to select dual boot which is the first option. Do not select replace Windows 7. Right here we get to select the disk partition side. It will automatically repartition our hardware to make room for the Linux Mint OS. We can go ahead and move that bar across and once we're ready go ahead and click install now. This will run through the installation. While the installation is going it will prompt us for various bits of information such as our region to go ahead and click on whatever part of the world you're coming from and select our keyboard layout language. All this time it's also doing the installation while you're answering these questions. It's going to ask who you are, so it's going to create your initial account, enter in your first name, your username, and your computer name, and a password. You can go ahead and type that up, and once you're ready, click continue. Click continue, and now it's just going to prompt us for an image. Now the image you can either take with a camera if it's built in or you can select one of the icons. Now the rest of the installation will continue and once it's done it's going to go ahead and restart. 
Now when the machine restarts, it will bring you to the Grub menu. By default, it will boot into Mint Linux, so but you can use the up and down arrow to select to Windows 7. Let's go ahead and log into our brand new Mint Linux installation. The first thing it will do will bring you to a Welcome to Mint Linux page with tons of useful information, including tutorials, software downloads. Now if you click on the menu option on the bottom, it will show you all your pre-installed software applications. And as you can see, there's a number of different software packages there. Enjoy your new Mint Linux install. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I have some other tutorials on my channel on how to use the command line and how to install some software. So go ahead and check those out to learn a little bit more about your Mint environment. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. And like down below or subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Bye.